concludes my overall summary. I'll hand it over to Miyaki-san. Okay, thank you, Dina. <clears throat> Good afternoon. Um, it's my great pleasure to be here on behalf of Mr. Yoshihiko Torano, who is the HTB project manager. And today, I'm pleased to announce the uh, uh, JAXA is ready to carry out this important HTB1 mission as a new contribution to the ISS program. On the September 10th, uh, we are going to launch the uh, HTB1 on the H2B Piku from Tanegashima Space Center. I believe it's a, uh, one of the beautiful uh, launch sites in the world. And currently, the all the flight systems and the ground system is functional for launch. The HTB-1 vehicle has been encapsulated in a rocket fairing and installed on the second stage of launch vehicle over the last weekend. And last, uh, late, uh, late access cargoes in the pressurized section is being installed this week. All launch site operation are going well and launch readiness review will be held on uh, September 5th. So it, uh, HTB, H2B launch vehicle is the uh, largest uh, new model rocket in Japan to maintain and improve the uh, previous the high reliability of the uh, uh, H2A launch vehicle. <laughs> and actually it's a fast flight of this, uh, of this H2B. So after completion of the successful assembly uh, of the Kibo module, we are so proud of this taking this new uh, responsibility to provide cargo transportation ca capability to ISS program with HTB fleet for further utilization and operation of the ISS. So HTB one has opened up the uh, hor uh, new horizon for JAXA on its undertaking of the human space flight activities. And I like to say that uh, JAXA is now entering the new era. So JAXA will continuing to upgrade or evolve the HTB for future space activity. The HTB has cargo transportation capability up to six ton, and its feature including uh, exposed cargo transportation such as external payload or battery wall, uh, et cetera. And uh, one of the JAXA uh, exports payload on the HTB-1 is the SMILES, and which will be installed on the Kibo exposed facility to provide continuous observation on the ozone hole environment on the Earth uh, with very high sensitivities in compare with the uh, previous satellite. Also, as Mike mentioned, that the NASA exposed payload, so-called HREP, will be also the uh, uh, attached to our exposed facility, so we are so excited to have such a NASA payload on uh, GEM uh, exposed facility. Of course, the, also the, we have the pressurized the cargo, like food or crew items for very important the, to maintain the six crew members operation of the ISS. And this HTV-1 uh, vehicle is the demonstration flight to verify its functionality and performance. So after completion of this HTV-1 mission, we are planning to launch the one operational HTV per year on average. And this HTV used the uh, capture bossing method to mate with the uh, ISS common bossing mechanism. This is the unique method to not only make the vehicle simple, and but also to provide standard lock delivery capability. 
We believe the HTB will become a model of the future visiting vehicle at this point. And the proximity communication system, we call the PROX system, is the one uh, on orbit communication system between the ISS and the HTB. And this PROX system could be used with other big visiting vehicles through cooperation with the US COTS and CRS program. For the operation readiness, uh, the 67 JAXA HTB flight control team members have been certified through the series of the simulation, including the joint multi segment training with NASA. Many of those team members had good experience of the unmanned satellite operation, including the, uh, our engineering test satellite number seven, which demonstrated JAXA's own uh, rendezvous and docking technology. In addition to that, the Akibo operation team, especially the simulation training team, also support this team and train them. So, as Zena mentioned, the Zena's counterpart, the Mr. Koji Yamanaka, is the JAXA HTB lead flight director, and he led this team. So I'd like to recognize the both the NASA and the JAXA flight control team have been working so hard each other, and they are so professional, and I believe that uh, they led it for the, this mission. So since 1997, uh, we have been working with NASA and the Canada, Canadian team for development, development of the HT, HTV, and then its operation preparation. Uh, one of our challenges was to provide high fidelity simulated environment for joint simulation, especially for proximity operation or final approach phase. This was established using the distributed simulation technology between the NASA ISS simulator here in Houston and the JAXA's Mission Control Center in Tsukuba in Japan. Also, the uh, complicated the SSRMS and the GMRMS uh, robotics operation uh, would be the critical point for this mission, and uh, uh, we believe that we could uh, get good the, uh, preparation for that. So, this uh, we like to express our great appreciation to the NASA and the Canadian team for their continuous support and effort to accommodate this HTB with the ISS. So now we are positive for the HTB-1 mission will be success. So thank you for your attention. Thank you. We'll start with questions here. We'll start here, and we have one down here. Thanks, uh, Bill Harwood, and I've got a couple, so let me start.